Hello folks, in the previous video we saw why we need to install and use CloudWatch Unified Agent and we also saw how to install it and configure it and push metrics to a custom namespace. In today's video we are going to see how to create your custom matrices, how to create your dashboards and alarms. Here I am in my AWS dashboard. Let us go to CloudWatch section and under CloudWatch on the left hand side you will find matrices. If I go under matrices, you will find custom namespace here and then below that you will find AWS namespaces. So if you remember when we have configured the CloudWatch agent, we created a namespace called as extended matrices and we wanted CloudWatch to store all the data that is relevant to my CPU and memory to my instance in the extended matrices. So if I go ahead and click on that, you will have the file disk space and CPU utilization. So for example, if I go ahead and click on the file space, and I am I'm interested in my disk space utilization over a period of time. This is how I will do it. Uh, say I'm going to choose a matrix which is uh, of uh, smaller duration here. You can see here it is for a period of five minutes. I'm going to make it as 10 seconds so that we will know what is happening on the disk utilization. You can see here as of now it is at 15% and I'm going to make the axis as Y axis. So my Y axis is here. And if I put my mouse over here and it says this is the utilization here and likewise I can go ahead and graph my CPU metric also so I'm going to go ahead and graph my CPU metric I'm going to go ahead to extended matrices go to CPU and I'm interested in my user utilization of a CPU how much my user is going to utilize my CPU and you can see here there is already some changes going ahead on my system and my disk utilization is jumped up to 49 percentage and you can see here there is a spiking up for some reason so let us go ahead and graph the metric and see what is really happening here I'm just going to zoom in to see what is happening so you can see here there is a gradual increase in my CPU utilization and also my memory utilization that means that there is some process which is leaking memory or there is some process which is uh, core dumping or something is happening uh, so this is how you graph out the different matrices create a chart and you want to create an alarm over it all you have to do is come here click on this alarm page and fill in the saying high CPU utilization high CPU alert and then I'm just going to fill in the values and you can go ahead and set your monitoring alarms and everything so this is how you create your custom matrices and create your custom dashboards and set up your alarms and monitor your system you can and you can go ahead and have this matrices auto refresh if you can go here and choose at every 10 second intervals and auto refresh or if you want a higher uh, refresh cycle then you can go ahead and say choose it for one minute or you can also go ahead and choose the metric for say for example instead of 10 seconds I want to show it only for one minute then your chart looks something little differently the reason for that is if you have a container based systems or workloads which are very transient which spikes up and down you would want to know most granular metrics and that is where the power of this extended unified agent that comes into picture so if you go ahead and say every five seconds give me an interval and you can see here really what is happening my CPU and my memory are spiking up and constantly they are higher right now they are at 60 percent and there must be something wrong and I need to investigate them and sometimes people correlate these events and send it to the slack channel so that uh, application owners can take corrective action so this is how you create your dashboards if you have any trouble put them in the comment section i'll be helping you with them and thanks for watching happy learning